What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I am super pumped to show you this 2021 Ford Bronco Big Bend that has been customized by TC Customs. So in this video, we're gonna do a couple of different things. We're gonna give you a tour of this Big Bend, but we're also gonna give you a tour of some of the things that TC Customs has done that has kind of replaced the Sasquatch package. So if you don't have a Sasquatch on order, or I might even tell you why you don't want a Sasquatch on order, this might be a great option for you. And that is coming up next. But before we go into the video itself, I do want to let you know that TC Customs, Town & Country TV, this YouTube channel, is giving away a four-door full-size Bronco, and we're going to customize it very similar to what you might see here before we actually give it away to you. Now, we're going to launch this giveaway the day that we hit 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I'll tell you, though, that you guys are absolutely helping our channel grow at a record pace that we've never done before. So make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss the launch of that giveaway. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the vehicle. All right, first, let's talk a little bit about the Bronco itself. Now, this is one of the most hotly anticipated vehicles that Ford has come out with, I would probably argue, since the 60s or the 70s, really since the Mustang came out. I've been at our dealership for 21 years. I've seen things like the 2005 Ford Mustang launch, which was huge. I've seen things, the anticipation about the Ford GT in 05 and 06. That was huge, but the volume wasn't there. The Bronco is the first vehicle that I can ever remember in those 21 years where I've noticed that not only is the hype there, but also the volume is there, or the volume will be coming that way because there are some, some issues as far as the production is concerned, and we're gonna talk about that in this video as well. But let's do this. I wanna show you a couple of things about this Big Ben from the factory, then we're gonna step into what we made uh, as far as the TC Customs is concerned, and then I'm gonna show you why you may not even wanna consider going with a Sasquatch package from the Ford factory. And I wanna know what you guys think about that down in the comments, but wait until you hear my pitch first. So without further ado, I'm six foot three. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, let's, let's get into the vehicle itself. So this particular vehicle, as I've already mentioned to you, is a big bend version. Now, what comes with the big bend? You do have a carbonized gray front grille, which actually looks really good. And you'll also notice you do have your LED marker lamps, and then you also have the LED uh, headlamps as well. So a good looking vehicle. There's nothing really to complain there. And I love these Bronco emblems right here. The Bronco emblem actually can pop out. You can sand those and repaint those if that's something that you want to do. So pretty cool that Ford gives you that ability. Now this particular vehicle is equipped with the molded in color front base model uh, uh, front bumper, if you will. Now what you have here, this is gonna be the radar sensor back, actually back behind this little plastic cover. That is the radar sensor. Well, I know you're probably thinking, this is a big bend. Why? It doesn't have adaptive cruise control. You're right, it doesn't have adaptive cruise control, but every Bronco has a sensor located right here. If it's not a Lux package, which is where you get the adaptive cruise control, you'll actually pick up the uh, collision mitigation or the the collision warning, which is pretty cool. It's a safety feature that's included on all of those Broncos. Located right here, you do have some active grill shutters, which open and close to make sure that the engine, it is at the perfect operating temperature. So pretty sweet that that happens. And you also happen to have another active grill shutter located right in here. I don't know how well you can see that with the shadow, uh, but it is located, there we go. So you can see that is another one that is left in the open position since it's off. When it starts running, it'll open and close itself to make sure that it has got the right operating temperature. Now coming around to the side, you'll notice that this is the fender flares from the non-Sasquatch Bronco. So that's interesting to see there um, because when you look at it, you've actually got a decent amount of poke on that rear tire. Now, I'm gonna come back to the lift kit and the wheels and tires here in just a second. I wanna focus in on the Ford factory aspect of this Bronco Big Bend, and then we're gonna come back into the TC Customs and then into the, the Sasquatch and non-Sasquatch debate a little bit later. Now, this is obviously going to be the soft top. Uh, we've got the soft top removed all the way back, so that's pretty sweet to see. Uh, that is one of my favorite positions to have the uh, soft top in my personal Bronco, but the only problem is, is taking out those side panels doesn't take very much time, but it does take some time putting them back in. So 
interesting to note there. All right, so we've got the vehicle pulled into the shade so I can show you the interior of the vehicle a little bit better. Now, as we hop in, you're gonna notice a couple of different things. You'll notice that the air conditioner model is going to be a single zone climate control. So like for instance, in my Badlands, I've got dual climate control. This Big Ben technically is the second to the lowest trim level that Ford offers for the 2021 Bronco. So it starts with the base model, goes with the Big Bend, you got the Black Diamond and a lot of other options. But what I really love about this vehicle is you do get the Sync 4 System standard equipment on all Broncos. So even though this is the second to lowest trim level, you still get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. It's really, really sweet setup there. So uh, notice on the actual instrument cluster, everything is the exact same on this instrument cluster as it is with my high package of the of the Badlands. So everything is the exact same. So a pretty sweet setup. Now, I will tell you this Bronco is not for sale. This is one of our mannequin vehicles that Ford has to, basically we have to keep it in program for a certain period of time. And, uh, and so that's, that's the reason that we're making this video, customizing it and showing what TC Customs is all about and what we've done to the vehicle. Uh, but I just wanted you to realize that's why it has 161 miles on it because it's gonna continue to get miles put on it because we have to drive it according to Ford Motor Company. Uh, over here, you do have a normal cruise control with the buttons right here. You have a volume control for the radio itself. You have the phone button where you can pick it up and hang it up, voice activation, which is really cool because now that you've got wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can actually summon your uh, your Siri right here with the the same button that operates the voice activation for the vehicle itself. Moving down here, you do have a actual grab handle, uh, which is different because the base model does not include this. So it's nice to see that they've included this on this particular trim level. You also notice you do have a Bronco uh, badging right here. So it says you know that it's designed and engineered in Dearborn, Michigan, and it's built at the Michigan assembly plant. That's one of the biggest misconception is, is they say oh the Broncos made in Mexico this is a not American made vehicle it is a made in America this one is the Bronco Sport the baby sister to this is actually made in Mexico and Ford's logic behind that is the vehicles that they can actually turn an easier profit the bigger vehicles 150s 250s uh, the Broncos those vehicles are made in the United States whereas the smaller lower margin vehicles like the Bronco Sport Escape um, the vehicles like that are actually made out of Mexico Mexico. Now let's take a look at the hero switches up here. Now my Bronco Badlands has got switches going all the way across the top. This one only has them half the way over and the reason for that is because of the trim level that's selected. So you do have your hazards, you have your traction control, and you have trail turn assist. That is right, every Bronco that is an automatic transmission gets the trail turn assist automatically no matter what. The buttons that it's missing are going to be the stabilizer bar disconnect, the lockers in the rear, and the lockers in the front. And I might have that out of order, but it's roughly in that, that similar kind of an order. But that's just what you need to realize that you're missing on this particular vehicle. Now, it is an option that this vehicle is not equipped with, and that is going to be the uh, auxiliary switches. So if you had those options, it would be located right here. Instead, you actually have a sunglasses holder, which is really nice to have uh, just in case you uh, need to have a place to put your sunglasses. I do wish my Bronco Badlands had uh, a, a place to put your sunglasses. Uh, but I, I need the auxiliary switches significantly more. You have your uh, microphone button for the, uh, or, or your microphone button, your microphone for the Sync 4 system. That's how it hears what you're doing uh, as you're driving the vehicle. I want to point your attention to the A-pillar. This is one of the very few vehicles that has been able to figure out how to incorporate all of the different airbag systems into the vehicle that has no roof. Uh, so obviously it's a soft top, but as you can see right there, it says airbag. So you've got an airbag in that front A pillar. As you can see, it says airbag right there in the roof. So it's got a canopy airbag. Uh, you've got all kind. You've got airbags in the seats themselves. Uh, a lot. And look at that airbag in the back seat as well. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, and then you've got another one right there back towards the back. Uh, a little Easter egg that most people know about, but in case you don't, you do have the coordinates located from where the original Bronco video was shot when they debuted the vehicle, but also this is where a lot of the research and development for the Bronco actually happened. I think it's Johnson Valley, California, if I'm not mistaken, but feel free to take those coordinates, plug them in, and roast me if I'm wrong. <laughs>
I'm gonna hop back out to show you my next favorite thing. Now, because this vehicle is a big bend, it does come standard with a cloth seating arrangement. What we've done here at TC Customs is we actually upfitted it with custom seats. Now, these are catskin premium leather. Now, I do wanna point out to you, that is the last name to the guy that, that owns the company. <laughs> it's, it's not actual cat's leather, cat's skin. That is one of the biggest misconceptions. It is spelled obviously K-A-T-Z-K-I-N. That is the last name of the, or of the guy that owns the, the company. But uh, one thing you'll notice is that the seats are very firm. So you'll notice there's no sag in the leather. Uh, you got a little bit of wrinkle going on right there, but we literally just got through with installing the leather. And I would argue this looks just as good, if not a little bit better, than the Ford factory leather seats. Now, what I like about this is you can do all kind of custom stuff if you do TC Customs. So you could put your name in the headrest, you know, embroidered or, you know, stitched there if you wanted. Uh, you can do pink leather with purple, you know, purple stitching. You, the options are literally endless with the custom leather if that's something you're interested in doing. And just to kind of give you an idea um, as far as what the back seat looks like, the leather looks really good back there. Now, you notice that I was just in the, the driver's seat, and I'm gonna hop back in so you guys can see me. But you can see, this is where I would feel comfortable driving the vehicle. I'm six foot three, you can see how much leg room, knee room I, that I've got. This is where I would want the vehicle as I'm driving it. Now I'm gonna hop in the back seat and show you what's going on there as well. So that way you kind of get an idea. All right, so you can see, I don't have a ton of leg room, but it's, a lot better than a, a two-door, that's for sure. So yeah, that's what you're looking at as far as the leg room and the space in the rear of the Bronco when you have two six foot three people stacked too deep. All right, let's take a look at the cargo area of the vehicle. Now in full disclosure, we put the top all the way back. So you have to have a place to put those side panels. And yep, you guessed it, this is the cargo area that we put. I didn't wanna lay those panels on the concrete and risk scratching it up because one day somebody will own this Bronco outside of town and country forward. Uh, but in the meantime, we have to keep it in the program. So what's interesting is when you've got that top in that rear location, I don't think, maybe you can, uh, you've got a location here, you've got, let's see if I can show it to you, you've got the latch here and you've got another latch located right here. You hit those two latches, and normally when the top's in the up position, you can actually lift it up and get bigger stuff back here. So interesting, just wanted to kind of show you the backside of the cargo area. Now let's do this. I'm gonna pull it back into the sun so that way you guys can get a better look at it, and let's talk deeply about the Sasquatch package and also what TC Customs did to this vehicle. All right, so you've already seen the custom seats that we did. Let's talk about the suspension, the wheels, the tires, and also comparing that to a Sasquatch, which we actually happen to have over there. Yet another sold Bronco. We've got a couple of Broncos that just came in. You've got mine. We've got Broncos coming in left and right, but let's stay focused on this one because I'm a little uh, all over the place. All right, let's talk about the custom wheels, tires, and the lift kit. Let's start with the lift kit first. Now, the first thing you will notice is this particular vehicle does have a zone off-road two-inch lift kit. So it actually comes with a strut spacer located up here on the top and uh, it pushes the entire strut downward giving you that two inches of lift. It also has a strut spacer located in the rear which you're not going to be able to see that very well but it's got that nice level stance. I want to also point out to you that we actually had to remove the crash bar. So one of the things about the Bronco is that the normal Bronco itself, a non-Sasquatch Bronco, comes with crash bars. This is a non-Sasquatch Bronco. The Sasquatch Bronco comes from the factory with no crash bars for the front or the rear, which is really interesting to know. Now, to fit anything larger, even though we've lifted the vehicle, if you want to fit the bigger wheels and tires, you actually have to remove those crash bars. Now, fret not, don't worry about it, because it actually bolts in and unbolts. So if you decide at a later date and time that you wanna put those crash bars back in, you might have to swap your wheel and tire combination, but you can put the crash bars back in. On an F-150, if you pull the crash bars out, you literally have to cut them out, which means that they are not gonna go back in after you cut them out. This is nice because Ford has done a really good job of making this thing modular. You can take stuff on and off, do whatever you want to at whatever situation you're going with. Uh, so you might even have like an, uh, a set of mud terrains 
that require the crash bars to come out, you might have another set of tires that are street tires. It's really cool, you can kind of go back and forth. All right, so now the next thing I wanna show you is going to be the wheels and tires. These tires are a set of 35 by 1250 R17 Nitto Ridge Grappler tires. Now these are my favorite tires on the planet. Yes, I know that I've got a set of Falcon Wild Peak MTs on my vehicle, but um, realistically, I, I cannot wait to get back to a set of Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Uh, it is a fantastic, a quiet tire, um, and it does really, really good for off-road and on-road. So pretty cool stuff there. Next up, you do have a set of KMC wheels. Those are a 17 by eight, I believe, if I'm not mistaken on the size. So what, what I'll do is I'll put the, the size of those wheels on the screen. So that way, if you're looking to mirror this exact same setup, you can do so. Um, and also I'll have some links for the wheels and the, the lift kit and all that kind of stuff. I'll have that linked on TC Customs, so that way you can just go straight to it and buy those products if that's something that you are interested in. Now the rear as well, we are talking about the same KMC wheels, same uh, Nitto Ridge Grappler tires, and then you also happen to have a fifth matching spare. Now what's interesting is you'll notice that this one is missing the, the actual hubcap because guess what? You've got your backup camera that is located right there in the middle of it. So you've actually got to store and keep that center cap in a separate place in case you ever want to put it on the ground. So that's why we've got that center cap located right here. All right, now let's talk about this vehicle and what we've done to it compared to a normal Sasquatch. Now, Sasquatch is a great option. I'm not trying to knock on it at all, but the problem with Sasquatch is the commodity constraints. And commodity constraint, when you're talking about buying and having a vehicle built, is nothing but a fancy word for saying, does Ford Motor Company, and they're trying to build a brand new vehicle, does Ford Motor Company have every part necessary to complete a specific build? And it's been proven that obviously the molded and color hardtop has had commodity issues. You've had trailer towing uh, has had commodity issues. And then you've also got the Sasquatch package, which has got commodity issues. And so what you're looking at is if you have the Sasquatch package on your order and you don't have a VIN number yet, if you take the Sasquatch package off, it could potentially get built significantly faster. Uh, very similar with like the molded and color hardtop and some other things that that's for another video. So if you take the, the Sasquatch package off in hopes that you're gonna do something like what TC Customs has done, what are you giving up? Because I've had that question a lot. I actually did that on my Bronco. I took the Sasquatch package off because I knew that I was gonna modify it and, I, and I'm good with that. If you go with the Sasquatch package, you're gonna lose a little bit of height in the suspension. So the suspension is not gonna be as high if you keep it factory. Now, obviously we've lifted this so that we've re remedied that or rectified that or whatever you wanna call it. So that's taken care of you do miss out on a slightly more aggressive gear ratio. So a Sasquatch package comes with a 4.7 gear ratio for the front and the rear end. Now, I don't know what this gear ratio is in this particular vehicle, but let's talk about my Bronco Badlands. Uh, it actually has a 4.46 gear ratio compared to um, the, the 4.7. So I did lose out on that more aggressive gearing, which might mean I get a little bit better fuel economy. Uh, so that's that. Oh, hey, look at there. We got our man Colton Love. He's actually uh, putting the finishing touches on that little TC Customs gym back there. Uh, stay tuned because the video is coming on that very, very soon. So make sure you don't miss out on that. But a couple of other things. You are, when you get the Sasquatch package, you automatically get front and rear locking differentials. Now, the other thing that Sasquatch package gives you that the non-Sasquatch does not give you is going to be the Haas suspension system or the high stability off-road, high, uh, high performance off-road stability system. Something, it's, it's a weird acronym. Basically, it is position sensitive Bilstein dampers. That comes on the Sasquatch package where you don't get it on this one. And so this one theoretically won't be able to handle the high speed off-road uh, as good as the Sasquatch package. But I will tell you just from driving a lot of different Broncos, you're not gonna have any issues with this setup either. Now, the other thing comes in as far as the pricing is concerned. From what we've looked at, when you look at different Sasquatch packages, whether it's a Big Bend or a Badlands, each of them have a different price point as far as what the Sasquatch package costs you. So if you keep that in mind, in most situations, depending on what wheel and tire combination, you might actually be able to come out a little bit cheaper. But once again, you're gonna give up those gear ratios, you're gonna give up the lockers, you're gonna give up the position sensitive Bilstein dampers. But BDS is working on a couple of things that might take care of that. And that's all I can really say at this point, but uh, just make sure you're stay tuned to the, the channel because there's a lot of really, really cool stuff coming from BDS. I've heard pretty much every major manufacturer is working on some kind of a lift kit 
uh, or high performance off-road suspension for these Broncos. This thing has absolutely been fantastic. So me personally, I love the Sasquatch package. I actually wish I would have gotten the Sasquatch package on mine, but to me, it was worth it to give that up so that way I could get my Bronco sooner. I am curious, what do you guys think? Are you one of those guys that says, nope, I'm gonna keep my Sasquatch no matter what? Or, you know what, I wanna, I wanna do something like what TC Customs has done. Once again, I wanna remind you guys that the parts and everything like that will be linked down below if that is something you're interested in checking out. And there you have it. That is the 2021 Ford Bronco Big Bend customized by TC Customs. See, I told you, you may, or may not actually need a Sasquatch package. By the way, that's the same thing that I did on my Bronco, is I opted not to go with the Sasquatch package, ended up doing a lift kit on it, put some bigger tires, and uh, now you might need, well, I'm not gonna go back over that again, but it is very interesting to note, you might be able to save some cash by doing this, and you have something that not everybody else has. So thank you so much for watching this video. I wanna remind you guys again, the day that we hit 300,000 followers on YouTube, we are going to launch the giveaway of the four-door big Bronco that we're giving away. So make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe with that bell notification turned on. If you haven't already done so, leave some comments down below. If you think I'm off my rocker with what we presented today, make sure to let me know down in those comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Peace.